What's going on guys, Tyler here, and today we're talking about a feature that is an Elementor that is going to completely revolutionize the way you work with widgets. I am super excited that I've been able to find this little feature, and I really feel like it's an underrated, under-advertised feature in Elementor. So if you're new to the channel, be sure and smash that nice red look and subscribe button, join the family, and hit that bell icon if you wanna be notified of upcoming videos, just like this one. I have tons of Elementor videos on my channel, so be sure and check those out, but make sure you are subscribed to the channel to see the new videos coming out. Also, if you're interested in upgrading to Elementor Pro today, be sure and check out that link down below in the description. I always, always recommend you upgrade to Elementor Pro. It is an incredible plugin. It has so many features. One of the features that we're talking about today will be in Elementor Pro and you'll want to be a pro subscriber. So if you are not upgraded to Elementor Pro and you're planning on it, why not try it today? Just get started today. Check out that first link in the description and let's get started with some Elementor Pro. All right, let's jump into my computer and get started on the video. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into my computer. Now, here in my computer, you can see this is a page I actually developed in a previous video. So if you're interested in recreating a page similar to this, especially with these social media icons, be sure and check out the video. This is what the thumbnail looks like. It's on my channel here, and there will be a little card up top that you can just click on that link and go head on over to that video. But as you can see with these icons, I actually have a faded gradient going through them it's a gradient that kind of changes on its own and it's actually changing the color of the icons which is super cool and if you've been following along on my channel you've seen that we've used that effect for text as well as icons and if you're interested in this specific demonstration of this gradient change it is in that social media icons video at the end of the video I explain how to do this gradient effect so I highly recommend you check that out if you're trying to replicate something like this but I do just want to show you here, if you go ahead and edit this element, this you can see this is just a basic widget. I basically just dragged in a social media um, widget here. So if we search social, we can just drag in social icons right here. This essentially is the same exact thing. I've just done a little bit of stylization to it. So basically we have this social um, icons widget. Now this will work for any widget. And this is where this hidden feature, or this awesome feature that helps you really increase your productivity, increase the speed at which you're able to develop and produce websites and web pages here. Once you make some setting, some changes to a specific widget, what you're gonna wanna do is actually go to the widget itself, not the section, not the column, as you can see here. You're gonna wanna go to the widget itself. You can right click on the widget and hit save as global. I feel like this is an under advertised, under marketed feature of Elementor and Elementor Pro, but it is an incredible feature and I just learned how to do this. So we're gonna save it as global. And once this comes up, it's gonna say save your widget as a global widget. Now you're wondering like, what is a global widget? I'm gonna show you here in just one second. Let's name this, um, we'll just name it social because I have, I have saved it in the past when I was testing all this out. Um, we'll just name it very basic social. All right, so once we save that, you can see now as we hover over this, it's now got a yellow border around it. And I was thinking like, what is this yellow border, right? What, what, what does that mean? When you hit the edit button, you can actually see over here, it's now saying your widget is now locked. Edit this global widget to simultaneously update every place you used it or unlink it so it gets back to being a regular widget. Now you have two options here. You can either edit it or you can unlink it. Now basically what this is doing is, <laughs> this is incredible, you guys gotta understand this because this will revolutionize the way you're developing sites. It is taking a single widget and saving all of the settings for that single widget and then anywhere else you drag in this global widget, it's going to replicate the same exact settings. Now that's nice, I mean, you could just copy and paste, right? But what if you make a change? If you make a change to a global widget, it will reflect that change every other place that global widget exists on your website. How cool is that? So let me just show you for example, I, I don't have like a super detailed example, but I'm just gonna show you how this works. 
I would go back, let's say I'm on a different page now. Let's say I'm, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not gonna be on a different page, but let's pretend I'm on a different page, right? And I'm talking about, you know, you can connect with me in so many different ways and here's my social media icons. What I'm gonna do if I want the same exact setup, the same exact style for widget right here, I'm gonna go over to my global global uh, widgets over here. I didn't even really know this existed. You have all your normal elements. If you switch over here to your global widgets, you can see we now have social. This is a global widget. We're gonna drag and drop this right into our page here. Now, as you can see, we now have that global widget dragged and dropped onto our page. So we essentially have two of the exact same widgets. Now, what happens if we make a change here? So let's go ahead and actually edit this. We're gonna edit the global widget. So here under edit, we're gonna hit edit the global widget. We edit this. Now any setting that I'm making or, or any change that I'm making to these settings should be reflected on all of the other locations where this global widget is. For example, I'm changing the top one, the bottom one should reflect the change as well. But it doesn't necessarily have to be on the same page, it can be on any page on your website. So let's go ahead and just make this change. We'll go to add item, let's add a tumbler here um, because I know I've set that up before. Let's go tumbler. I don't actually have a Tumblr, but I did set this up in the past. Okay, so you can see we have it here now on our top widget. Now, as I click off of this, those changes are instantly reflected every other location where that global widget is reproduced. So for example, right below it. Isn't that cool? Anywhere on your site now that you have this global social widget, anywhere that I drag and drop this on a page, anywhere in my website, all of those changes will be reflected right here. Okay, that's awesome. What if you say you have one location where you just wanna make one specific change where you know what the, in this one location i only want to show them facebook and twitter i don't want to show them youtube i don't want to show them tumblr or let's say you know you have certain text maybe you need the text a certain size but you don't want to change it all throughout your page or all throughout your site so what you can do is you can actually drag and drop these global widgets in and you can actually hit edit here now, when you're editing, you have the option to edit the global widget. This will edit all of the settings like I just showed you, or you can unlink from global. I'm going to hit unlink from global, and it says this will make the widget stop being global. It'll be reverted into just a regular widget. You have unlink there, and you can see this widget is now just a default widget. Um, it carries all of our same settings, which is super nice. It's like you copied and pasted, but it's not going to be reflected. It's not going to be... Um, have its settings reflected when the other widget is changed. So let's go ahead and just make an edit here real quick. We hit edit and uh, we don't want Tumblr and we don't want YouTube. Let's see if we can get rid of those, perfect. And uh, yeah, we click off it and save it. And look at that, no other settings were changed on any of the other global widgets. And you can see this has become a blue box now, not a yellow box. It is just a normal widget and can be changed and edited just like you normally would. How cool is that? That is the power of global widgets. There are so many awesome opportunities for you to use this. I was thinking of just like some of the, the um, you know, when I would actually use this. And if I had like a biography statement, if I had like maybe a mission statement, if I had, you know, like a quote down here, like I do to have down here. Um, if I even had like my newsletter widget, like I had built everything out and I wanted this um, replicated exactly how it is in certain places, then all I would have to do is make one change to one little section if I ever needed to change it. And then boom, it would update all throughout my website wherever those uh, global widgets were used. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I was really, really impressed. I honestly thought this is an incredible feature that will totally increase the speed and of your workflow through your website, but I feel like it's underrated and under advertised. So Elementor, if you're watching this, advertise this feature more. It is an incredible feature. Also, I just want to say if you guys are interested in upgrading to Elementor Pro, I believe this is an Elementor Pro feature. It is an incredible feature and will really help you. Be sure and check out that first link in the description below. Join and see what kind of price you can get for 
or Elementor Pro. Also, if you're new to the family, be sure and smash that nice red look and subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell icon, be notified of upcoming videos just like this one. And guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Next week, I'm going to be talking a little bit about templates and how we can do something similar using templates. And that will also increase your workflow and speed of developing websites. So be sure and hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, take care.